नोड ऑफ रूविय प्लीज नोट द स्पेलिंग आर ओ यू वी आई ई आर ई द नोड ऑफ रूविय इट इज नेम्ड आफ्टर फ्रेंच एनाटमिस्ट हेनरी रूविय If it is plural, then it is pronounced as nodes of Ruvia. The retropharyngeal lymph nodes found at the base of the fossa of Rosenmuller. That's where it is located. We must not confuse this with the node of Ranvia. This is named for French physician Louis Antoine Ranvia. the node of ranvia plural is nodes of ranvia which is a small constriction in the myelin sheath of axons nodes of ruvia are named retropharyngeal lymph nodes the singular term node of ruvia refers to the most superior of the lateral group of retropharyngeal lymph nodes while the plural nodes of ruvia has also been used more generally to refer to the entire lateral group the difference in terminology is usually immaterial as groups of multiple ipsilateral retropharyngeal nodes are commonly seen in adults etymology henry ruvier 1876 was a professor of anatomy from le blayard in france his seminal work anatomy of the human lymphatic system documented the lymph nodes of the human body and their associated drainage regions the retropharyngeal lymph nodes from 1 to 3 in number lie in the buccopharyngeal fascia behind the upper part of the pharynx and in front of the arch of the atlas being separated however from it by the longus capitis i repeat 1 to 3 in number in the buccopharyngeal fascia behind the upper part of the pharynx in front of the arch of atlas separated from it from by the longus capitis the retropharyngeal lymph nodes are the least well described portion of the waldeyer's ring originally described as occurring in medial and lateral groups reports have been described wherein only the presence of lateral nodes in children We have seen cases of MRI sleep studies in children with obstructive sleep apnea in which lateral and medial retropharyngeal lymph nodes are present and have been misinterpreted. The purpose is to describe the frequency and appearance of retropharyngeal lymph nodes in children with and without obstructive sleep apnea in a particular study. Retropharyngeal nodes are commonly seen in children both lateral 95% and medial locations median nodes medial nodes are present more frequently than previously described such nodes occur almost equally frequently in populations with and without obstructive sleep apnea retropharyngeal lymph nodes should be considered normal in children and not be interpreted as abnormal or misdiagnosed the retropharyngeal space is the potential space surrounded by the buccopharyngeal fascia anteriorly the ala fascia posteriorly the content of the retropharyngeal space include fibro fatty tissue blood vessels and lymph nodes the presence of retropharyngeal lymph nodes was first described by ruvier in 1938 retropharyngeal lymph nodes are classified into medial and lateral groups the lateral retropharyngeal lymph nodes are located just medial to the carotid sheath in the lateral aspect of the retropharyngeal space they are immediately anterior to the lateral margin of the longus coli and longus capitis muscle medial retropharyngeal nodes are located near the midline immediately anterior to the prevertebral musculature these are the retropharyngeal nodes and they are the efferent vessels of the retropharyngeal nodes here number 4 are the retropharyngeal nodes 1 to 3 in number 
They are efferents, drain the nasal cavities, the nasal part of pharynx and the auditory tubes. I repeat, they are efferents, drain the nasal cavity, the nasal part of pharynx and the auditory tubes. They are efferents, pass to the superior cervical lymph nodes. The efferents pass to the superior cervical lymph nodes. They are in the retropharyngeal space and disappear by the age of 4 to 5. And this is why retropharyngeal abscesses is rare in older children. The retropharyngeal space again is a potential space of the head and neck bounded by the buccopharyngeal fascia anteriorly, ala fascia posteriorly containing the retropharyngeal nodes. <coughs> Because serious infections of teeth can spread down this space into the posterior mediastinum, it is often confused with the danger space. Please note, the danger space is actually between the ala fascia and the prevertebral fascia and extends from the cranial base above to the level of the diaphragm below. <coughs> A midline raphe is present in this space making some infections appear unilateral. However, without treatment infections can easily spread from one space to the adjacent and if more than half the size of C2 vertebra is seen, it may indicate retropharyngeal abscess. <coughs> I repeat, if the retropharyngeal space is more than half the size of C2 vertebrae, it indicates <coughs> usually retropharyngeal abscess. Relations the retropharyngeal space is limited above by the skull base, below where the ala fascia fuses by the buccopharyngeal fascia at about the level of T4 and carina. Relations above skull base, below superior mediastinum, lateral keratocheath, anterior buccopharyngeal fascia and posterior ala fascia. This is the prevertebral space and if it is more than half the body of the vertebrae, it is suggestive of a retropharyngeal abscess. The lateral retropharyngeal lymph nodes lie between the carotid artery and the prevertebral muscles. These are most obvious anterior to the arch of C1 but can be seen to the level of soft palate. The uppermost positioning nodes anterior to the atlas are called the node or the nodes of Rovia. I repeat, the uppermost positioning nodes anterior to the atlas are called the nodes of Ruvia. This is a six-year-old girl with obstructive sleep apnea and lateral retropharyngeal nodes. The image shows lateral retropharyngeal lymph nodes bilaterally in the retropharyngeal space. This is a six-year-old girl with obstructive sleep apnea and lateral retropharyngeal nodes. It is seen as oblong, well-defined, high signal area in lateral retropharyngeal space. Metastasis. There is a paper that presents two cases of Ruvier node metastasis in carcinoma of the hypopharynx as confirmed by gallium scintigraphy. Invasion of the Ruvier node was clarified within six months of the onset of symptoms in both cases. One patient eventually died of intracranial cancerous invasion and the other remains in the terminal stage of cancer with multiple bone metastasis. It was hitherto believed that metastasis to the Ruvian node was extremely difficult to diagnose in the early stages. However, it is now apparent that the neurological signs and symptoms which commonly appear in patients with cancerous invasion of the jugular foramen syndrome facilitate early diagnosis of the disease, the most common symptom being a headache. The radiologic criteria for assessing retropharyngeal lymph node metastasis in nasopharynx carcinoma are as follows. Nodes with minimal axial diameter of 6 mm or larger, any node with central necrosis, groups of two or more retropharyngeal lymph node or any medial retropharyngeal lymph node. These are the retropharyngeal lymph node metastatic lesions seen. This is a comprehensive overview of the node of Ruvia and the retropharyngeal space.